G'day everyone. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you uh, just a quick little tip, which is a way to change the actual text box that shows up while you're using Dialogic. Now, I actually had somebody um, request this of me, and I remember when I was first learning how to do this, it wasn't super obvious how to do it. Um, so this is just going to be a quick little video showing you how to do that. So we'll get into it. So if you want to follow along, we're just going from basically the end of this video, which is another video I made called the Cinematic Dialogue the Easy Way. Um, it's just a quick tutorial showing you how to set all of this stuff up so you can have like sort of cinematic um, dialogue using Dialogic, which is an awesome add-on. And the files for this will be up on Patreon, so if you want to follow along, you can come and download this from Patreon. I'm actually going to be making this free. And speaking of my Patreon, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. If you can't be bothered typing out like these tutorials, generally you're going to get the game file projects there. So now this one is free, you can follow along. And there's also a little second sort of follow-up that you kind of need to follow on. I'm going to have the game files for this tutorial up on Patreon as well in case you can't be bothered typing out everything. Just because there was a little bit of a follow-up from the original video that you had to sort of follow along to get to this point. Oh my God. So anyway, we're in Godot. We've got Dialogic set up. We're in the project files. And now when we run it, we're going to get this. So we run up to, we can see our head for some reason. Uh, we can run up to these people. They'll talk to us and then we can click and it'll sort of, yeah. So like I said, the benefit of like uh, this and the last tutorial is adding sort of animations into Dialogic logic and also switching to different camera angles and also cameras that are attached to the characters that uh, the sort of they're linked to, right? Yeah, cool tutorial, should check that out. Actually changing these boxes is a little bit complicated, so I'll show you how to do that. Complicated if you don't know what you're doing, but when you do know what you're doing, it's quite easy. So the first thing I wanna do is to go into Dialogic, make sure you create a new style. Uh, now in your style, you're also going to want to go over to um, your characters and then in the characters you need to add the style in here because uh, for each one of those characters you can can't, you can have a different style, so a different text box for each one of those. But for this tutorial, we're just going to use the same style for all of them, uh, same uh, message box style or whatever we call it here, the panel, the panel box style. So see I've gone into the visual novel text box uh, panel inside here. Uh, which is the dialogic styles whatever and you see the default is vn text box default panel dot res so what we want to do is when we go find where that is and that's going to be in the dialogic game files so i've just found it here i'm going to get rid of those search queries so it shows us where it is and we right click and go duplicate and then we're going to change that to my style uh dialogic i guess or my style one my style panel one Right, because it is a panel at the end of it. So my style panel one, we're actually going to move to a different folder, which is just our general dialogic um, crap folder, which is dialogic stuff. That was the folder that we made. So we've got the dialogic add-in folder. We don't want to add anything to that. We actually want to be creating everything uh, customized for Dialogic outside of that Dialogic add-on file. So that's why we do that. And now what we can do is we can edit this panel and get it to edit that style. So the first thing we've got to do is we've just got to plug this new style panel in here. Bam, and then it should all be set up. So the color isn't going to count from here because we actually set a uh, custom color or something like that uh, from here, I think. It's uh, in a different spot. Yeah, like this. So we've got a global color for the text and we've also got a global color for the text box. So this white is going to change to a different color. Okay, and so that's here. So we've got the global colors here on default layout base. So if we change this BG color to red, and then we run up to this guy, it should turn red, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So that one's obviously for the name label. And because I had this global color set off, we go back and then we change default color background to, yeah, let's say yellow. We'll see what that looks like. Walk up and yeah, everything's yellow, which is awesome. So that's how we actually set the color. So going back over to that text box, this is for things like trying to, yeah, skew it or if you want to add like uh, round borders and stuff like that. So if I just change this quite a little bit, just to kind of sell some sort of effect, we'll add like a really neat shadow to it. Um, 
We'll offset that shadow to the side. Might not even get them shadows. Um, or the expanded margins. So what about content margins? I know we can add like a lot of like wacky little effects doing this. Then if we play that and then we walk up to these NPCs, we're going to get that wacky looking box, you know, with a little bit of skew, etc. So we can also change that text size too, or the justification of it, right? But it's probably easier to just not put something crazy like that on it, right? So I'm going to refresh all of these. We're going to keep that skew. We're going to skew it the other way, actually. And then we can mess around with this like border width. So we can add a little bit of like spice into it and we'll see what color that comes out as because I think these colors here are going to be absolute because they're not grabbing from the global yeah okay cool so it's like a modulation almost right because look at this this is like a gray yep so yeah what we can do is expand the margin so if we want to expand that by 24 and then we want to hook this top left around we can actually push the text over a little bit with that expand margins so you can't really see what it does you kind of just got to test it out uh also our text being white is going to be a problem what's the opposite of like yellow It'd be like a blue right see what that looks like probably like crap but we'll see <laughs> so it's not super obvious how to get started with it but once you do get started with it there is a lot of options um just make sure you're not messing with the default panel uh, you want to create that new resource and then drag that resource in so that goes for any of these other things here Right, so with the name label you can also create another box and put that box in there uh, Like I'll show you what it looks like if we ch chuck that same panel in there It's probably gonna mess up just because we've got such large borders and stuff like that But there you go. You can see like we've actually got you know uh, a lot of um a lot of variability that and like options and parameters and all kinds of stuff like that dialogic has got a lot of that stuff right but right now we're not even using the dialogic stuff we're using the inbuilt godot stuff and that's why dialogic's done it like this because the godot stuff has so much built into it that we may as well just be messing with that right just don't edit the defaults so over on the indicator as well we can actually change that to the uh godot icon and now when we walk up uh, that little arrow in the bottom right is actually not going to be an arrow. It's going to be a little bouncing Godot icon. So I've done that actually in unaccessible and it's got like a little sort of disabled symbol down the bottom that just like bounces up and down. So it's kind of like a black and white version of like the icon for the game. So we can probably also do Starbucks texture. We're going to see what that looks like, right? Maybe if I can just change this or create new resource for the Starbucks texture. And then if I go my style box, my style panel two, you can see what this looks like because we can double click on that. We can actually add a texture to the background of this. So if I just load this UV pattern and then we go to Dialogic, uh, where is it? The full visual novel text box. And then we go to box. If we replace that with my style panel two, Let's see what that looks like. Uh, this is probably going to crash, actually. Try it now. What even is cookie clicker? Now, if we walk up, yeah, you see, we've actually got that texture in the background of the box now. So we could go expand margins just by eight. Um, what was it on the left? It was like 24, right? So if we bring this up now, we should at least be able to see the text. No, okay, from the top, probably a little bit more. Okay, it wasn't expand margins, it's actually content margins. So we're going to go 8, uh, from the top, probably 16, right, 8, 8. And yeah, we'll make the top 16 as well. And now if we run that, you can run and tell that, walk up, cool. So we've got a textured background, right? And then we can also do, so this is mainly for, yeah, if you want to add like freaky boxes, you know, like I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So let's say in Photoshop, you've got a box like this, right? And you just want to delete everything. Oh no, not that. You just want to delete everything, make it transparent. And then let's say you want to add your own crazy box in there, right? So what you would do is something like this, right? Like... 
let's say I wanted like a hand drawn style or something like that. I could make a box and then we could probably put a background behind it. Uh, this is going to look so dodgy, um, but maybe we'll choose like something like this, this purple, and then do, 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 do. we'll paint all of that in. Yeah, make it look a little bit hand drawn. That's fine. We'll get a little bit of variation in there. A couple little spots, you know, a couple little spots all over it, right? And then we save that as a PNG. I've just brought Freaky Box 1 in here, and I'm just going to add that to that texture area. So you start to get, um, you know, like the, I can't remember what it's called, but like you can sort of like push in from the sides, and like you can get it to like stretch, you know what I mean? So like 8888 I think is good. Something more than that, it's just so like it can actually stretch the box over a distance, but then if we walk up to an enemy here, you see, we're going to see that box show up. It's yellow because I think it's being modulated. So if we want to stop the modulation, we can change this to like white, I think. White with a little bit of alpha is gonna make it um, semi-transparent, which is probably what we want instead of just white, white. See how we can kind of see through it. Because if we go back over to here, we've actually got a bit of alpha in what we're looking at. So if I'm correct, we should be able to walk up to this and it'll be completely opaque. Yeah, so completely opaque, we can't see through it at all. And now we can change that, um, what is it, the font color, we'll make it a little bit more. What's the opposite of purple? It's like a green, green sort of color, so maybe something like that. Something like that, yeah, and we'll see what that looks like. Um, also, we could probably push in these margins a bit. So we'll go 24, 24 from the top left. And now if we run that, I really should put the player closer because I'm getting sick of like walking forward. So yeah, now you can kind of see it. Left, 32. Try that again. Walk up and cool, custom text. The text is in the right spot. That shadow actually is pretty bad for the, um, what's it called, the name label. So maybe don't put any shadow on name labels. So like my style here, I've got like, a pretty big shadow on that and maybe if I turn that off it'll look a little bit better yeah walk up yeah cool so it still looks like crap but that's fine yeah the, that's how you start the customization is what I'm getting at right so I hope this helped and if it did help you then unaccessible is 50% off right now so please go and buy it please support me directly please go and buy it also let me book is 50% off is very cheap right now please please go and buy it other than that subscribe to my channel come and join the twitch have fun uh, go to the patreon etc like I said all the game files for this will be up there so you can dick around with what I've shown you here um, I'll see you guys on the next one